What's up, FE Clan? Here we are today. We got a new gel blaster in the mail, and it came in pieces. This is a high-quality gel blaster, and just this piece right here is heavier and more stout than any gel blaster I've ever held. Uh, I'm not sure actually what gel blaster this is supposed to be. I ordered an AK-47 and an M16, and I got both of them in the mail. But I, ju I just picked a box, and that's the box we're going to build today. <clears throat> so I'm going to open all these parts up. I'm going to lay them out on the table here. And then we're going to go ahead and put this bad boy together. And we're going to test fire it and see uh, how high quality this thing really is. To be honest with you, I don't even know what website I ordered this from because I've been ordering so many gel blasters. It's crazy. I've been just really like going on a uh, buying spree with these things because I love them. I love gel blasters. By the way, guys, I got a new mic um, on, my, on my camera here. So let me know how does the sound quality sound in the comments down below. Just let me know how it sounds. Yeah, this thing comes with lots of little pieces here, so hopefully we can get this together in a timely manner, and then we can uh, go ahead and test fire. This is actual metal. This is like a metal piece here. A lot of these pieces are really heavy, so you can tell, like, usually when pieces are heavy uh, on something like this, you can tell it's going to be like a quality product, and it's not made of plastic. It's made of like a composite material. So just using my teeth here, you know, good old fashioned opening tools that you were born with. Boom. Yeah, it looks to be, uh, that's the barrel right there. So we can get this all the way open. Just biting through the tape. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta bite through that tape. And like I said, I'm just gonna lay all the pieces out right here on the table. So this gel blaster came with zero instructions so far. I see zero instructions. Um, so we're gonna have to find out how this thing actually goes together. All right, so we've got all these pieces here. I honestly don't even know where to start. Um, wow. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, We've got these wires, they're going to connect to something, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out here soon. So it looks like they're going to connect right here to these little uh, metal electricity connectors. And I'm going to assume that this piece, and I wish this came with instructions. Alright, I'm, I'm going to assume that this piece kind of goes in here like this somehow. Let's see, how do we do this? There we go. We're getting somewhere. So the camera was off for about 15 minutes. I got the barrel in. It was just a matter of running this wire uh, down the side. There was like a little uh, track on the side of the barrel that we had to run the, the wire down uh, so it didn't get caught and, and, and I was able to shove the barrel in there and it went in where it was supposed to be. Um, I also got this piece in right here where there's a, there was a spring that came with it and it had to go into, um, the spring had to attach to this pin right here and then it had to go into the, the scope area. This is basically just for like looks for when you fire. Um, so I can show you here, so when you pull this back, this is the firing mechanism. So when you fire, you can see that piece actually move. So when it rapid fire, it's gonna be a blah, 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 going back and forth. Um, and that attaches, so this little metal railing here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little metal railing down in there. I had to screw it onto the side and attach a spring down in there. Um, so I had to like really look this thing over. Like I said, it comes with zero instructions. So good thing I have like some kind of handy skills where I can kind of look at things and figure out where pieces and parts should go. And they also send like, you know, all these little screws, there's a bunch of little screws right here. I'll pick them up, put them in my hand, show you guys. <clears throat> so, right there, a bunch of little screws, and these are all different sizes. So, basically, for each size, uh, they, have, they have it going into a different part of the gun. So, 
when you're putting a screw in, you can kind of see, okay, there's only two holes for this piece. Let's find two identical screws and let's see if they fit there. If they don't, you find two more identical screws and try to see if they fit there. Um, I got these ones on the first try and I know I have to put some screws in right here on this side and then on the exact opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I have these two bigger screws that I think go in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if they fit really quickly. Mm, yeah, yeah, this is the, it's gonna be the big screw. So I'm gonna screw these in here. And this is basically holding the barrel onto the blaster. And I did find the website I got these from, guys. I will uh, post it in the description down below. If you want to purchase uh, guns like this, because these are um, high quality blasters. I'm charging the battery right now and it is a 11.1 volt battery. Usually blasters, the max I've seen is 7.4 volts. So an 11.4 volt battery is going to give it some serious power. And uh, this is gonna be a really cool blaster once it's all finished and put together. And we're back, sorry about that guys. Um, some of you may know I run a business so I have to answer phone calls whenever they come in. And so yeah, we're back, we're building this blaster and yeah, where we were at, we were putting this top piece on. So it basically slides right underneath this little, there's like a little catch right there, it slides right underneath it. And then there's a button back here um, if I can get it on camera there, it clicks right down. As I was building this blaster, I found out that I kind of skipped a couple of pieces and parts and, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I figured out what I did and I put all the pieces in the right places. I got the blaster working properly without breaking it, surprisingly, and yeah, I'm super happy with the build, so here it is, guys. Well, guys, there you have it, the fully assembled AK-47. This thing looks almost completely real. I finally got the mechanism on the side working properly. I had to figure out exactly where some of the springs and uh, pieces went in there and how the mechanisms worked. Uh, it took me over a little over an hour to build this. Um, I actually figured out how to put these pieces on the side so you can put like lasers and flashlights on the side as well. So everything is completely put together. Unfortunately, I was moving the buttstock around without clicking the button at first, so it's a little loose on the back end here now, which I kind of regret, but it still works. So we're going to go ahead and put some Orbeez, put a battery in this thing, and test fire it. What do you say? And this takes the normal 7 to 8 millimeter Orbeez, guys. And there we go. We're all full. Let's close it up. Click that in, secure our mag, and let's go ahead and test fire this bad boy. Wow! You guys can actually see this thing. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to get shot by this thing. Look at it shaking. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, this thing actually shakes your hand. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to do a pain test on, on this thing, but uh, I'm going to do it from pretty far away because it looks like it's really going to hurt. Let's go ahead and test it out. Okay guys. <laughs> Woo! Alright, alright, just like super quick, just, like a couple of shots and then stop, okay? Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh! Oh! Alright, alright. Woo! Ah! Oh, those sting. Yikes! Yikes! Alright, this is by far the strongest gel blaster I have in my arsenal, guys. It looks real, and um, I would suggest that you definitely do not take this thing out in public. I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. And it's got real action. Look at it when, when it fires. It actually has some real action going on there. The whole thing vibrates and shakes when you're shooting it. This is by far the heaviest gel blaster I own. Heavier than the splatter ball and all those other guns. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description down below. I am not making any money off of this link, guys. 
but I am also going to put another link down below that is for other gel blasters that are not as powerful and not as real looking so that way if you want to buy them um, if you're a parent trying to buy them for your kids uh, this is probably not ideal because you do not want people taking this out in public guys I just want to stress that all right that's the end of the video guys make sure you watch this video and this video we'll see you next time Shoo.